Hello and welcome to The Sound Test Room. My name is Jokopak, I'm your host and you're watching a Hack Attack episode. In this episode, we are going to do some manual automation recordings of modulation inside Ideas 10 made by Detune for Korg. I actually didn't know that before I made my impression video of Ideas 10, so sorry for that Detune. Now I've gotten a lot of questions from viewers asking me if you can actually automate stuff inside Ideas 10. Ideas 10 has a patch base, so it's patchable and that's very cool. And you also have the option of modulating stuff in here using these waveforms as an LFO. So you have a triangular wave, saw wave, a square wave, a sample hold, you can connect the envelope generator and then the oscillator to frequency. And you can use that to modulate all this stuff up here. Now, let's say you wanted to make an automated wobbling wob wob bass line. The first problem you have is you can't make long notes in the pattern generator. So how do you step around that? Because when you want to wobble stuff, you want the notes to be long. Well, that's very easy to do. So we go back to the synthesizer, we go to the envelope generator. I'm going to solo this first and play it for you. So by dragging up the uh, release, we're getting long notes and that's good. So now we don't have that problem anymore. We need to make the cutoff of the filter wobble using an LFO. So how do we do that? Well, first I'm gonna pull down on the cutoff a bit. And then we're gonna go to the patch area. Now to make the cutoff wobble, we need to connect one of these waveforms up here. So I'm gonna choose this saw wave. Let's have a listen to it. Now it's running at a very low speed, so we need to up that speed a bit. That's very nice, but it's not connected to tempo. And you do that by syncing it like that. So now it's divided into tempo rates. Now let's say you wanted to make a pattern like I just did. So how do we automate that? There aren't any automation lines for it inside the pattern generator. Well, that's where the chaos pad comes in, yeah? Let's press chaos right there. Now, if you look here, you have the pad. And if you look up here, you can switch it from note gate to assign. Just flip this to assign. You have two knobs here, one for the X coordination and one for the Y coordination. One for this and one for that. So you can actually have two values that you can modulate here and record at the same time. So let's go back to the synthesizer and look at this. It says MG frequency. We go into the chaos pad and we want to assign this to MG frequency right there. Now let's play this. Now it sounds a bit crude and you have to work on this for a while to actually get that in sync, you know? It's all about your fingering. Now I want to make this bass sound sound cooler. We can use the same knob because we've already recorded a modulation for the MG frequency. If we now switch this, it won't delete what we've already done. So let's switch from MG frequency. We're gonna do something really, really simple. We're gonna go to the uh, VCO balance and that is actually the mix level between the two oscillators. So let's go to the synthesizer again and we go back here and you can see the balance between these two. Doesn't sound very different. Let's change this into a square wave, change this one into a square wave and up the VCO1 PV. Now that sounds pretty cool and I want to modulate that. So let's go back to the chaos pad and we've already assigned the VCO balance. What I just did there with the knob, we can now do with the chaos pad. Sure, 
you have to work on your timings, but that's just the way it is. It's an instrument and it's a great tool to actually modulate and automate stuff. And if we look in the list here, we can actually modulate a lot of stuff, everything from FX to the envelope generator and the VCOs, filters, plus you have the uh, patch bay right here. You can make some really interesting sounds. Well, there you go, a modulation and automation tutorial for IDS-10 by Detune for Korg. As usual, Doug Woods, Colin Sweeney, and me, Jakob Pack at thesoundtistroom.com, wishes you a very productive week. Now go finger your surfaces and have lots of fun doing it. Thank <laughs> you.